The purpose of this week is to discuss the key issues that will help you understand the many challenges associated with managing employees within the service experience. We will be covering people issues, such as managing the employees, human resource management and how to get it right, and then how to design an effective customer service organisation. From a customer's perspective, the encounter with service staff is often the most important aspect of service, especially when the customer is not confident in their ability to evaluate core outcomes. From the firm's perspective, the service levels and the way the service is delivered by the frontline can be an important source of differentiation as well as a competitive advantage. Service employees are important for the firm's competitive positioning because the frontline is a key part of the product or service. Often the service employees are the most visible element of the service, they deliver the service and significantly determine the service quality. Frontline employees represent the service firm and from a customer's perspective, they often are the firm. Frontline employees and service are often a core part of the brand. It is the employees who determine whether the brand promise gets delivered or not. Furthermore, frontline employees play a key role in anticipating customer needs customising the service delivery and building personalised relationships with customers which ultimately leads to customer loyalty. Strategically, service personnel are an important source of product differentiation. It is challenging for service organisations such as banks to differentiate themselves from competitors in the bundle of benefits they offer or through their delivery system. Likewise, many airlines offer similar bundles of benefits and fly the same types of aircraft from the same airports to the same destinations. Their only hope of gaining a competitive advantage is at the service level, the way in which things are done. Some of this differentiation can come from staffing levels or the physical systems designed to support staff. Often, however, the deciding factor that distinguishes one airline from another is the poise and attitude of service providers. Despite the strategic importance of personnel, it often seems that employees, customers and the service organisation itself are in pursuit of different goals, representing the classic confrontation between marketing, human resources and operations. Inevitably, conflicts occur that can have profound long-term effects on how customers view the organisation and how service providers view customers in subsequent transactions. Okay. So if a customer is unhappy with our service, they just write a comment on the ball and... Guys, guys, customer service is a serious matter. It's everything. Dad, if someone isn't happy, couldn't we just promise to fix what's wrong? Like a customer service promise. Come on, people. Suggest a box. What? I think we'll uh, go with the kid's idea. Heskett's service profit chain, as shown here in the diagram, shows that a firm that has happy frontline employees is more likely to find them delivering better quality service and has a lower than average staff turnover, thus retaining its best people. Higher delivered service quality is linked to customer loyalty and thus firm profitability. Furthermore, satisfied customers tend to make employees happier than they might otherwise be in their jobs. This creates a win-win situation for all stakeholders, but it all starts with ensuring you have happy employees. Customer satisfaction is directly related to customer loyalty, which is demonstrated through repeat purchases and positive word of mouth referrals to other customers. 
The net effects of customer retention are increased revenues and profitability for the service organisation. This service profit chain provides the logic behind the change in perspective that has led to the new services model. The major lessons to be learned by the chain are twofold. First, a service organisation must satisfy its employees in order for customer satisfaction to become a consistent reality. And secondly, the chain proclaims the simple fact that service and quality pay off. A flight attendant who apparently lost it with passengers during a delay that lasted nearly a whole day, all caught on camera. In the end, they had to bring cops on the plane to sort everything out. ABC's Jim Avila is here with a saga of a miserable airport experience. Jim? Good morning, Robin. The airline says it's happened again. Passengers made unruly by long weather delays get under the skin of a flight attendant. And since nearly everyone has a cell phone camera these days, it is caught on tape. If you have this is your time, otherwise you're going to have to apply with Jose. By all accounts, it was chaos on the runway at New York's LaGuardia Airport. No way. There's no passenger on here, a couple of what you said on the interface. As bad weather grounded American Eagle Flight 4607, scheduled to take off at just after one Monday afternoon for North Carolina. Passengers left sitting in the terminal and on the plane for four and a half hours. Tempers flaring. This guy is the one who's been doing it. At one point, flight attendant Jose Serrano apparently invites passengers to get off the plane, saying something many passengers felt was even more ominous. If you have this is your time. Otherwise, you're going to have to fly with Jose. He said something like, well, this is probably going to be my last flight. Hannah and David Abel were on board the flight. If we did go back in the air with him, what if he decided, oh, well, I'll open the door and let a few passengers out? The plane never took off, canceled because the delays were so long, the crew ran out of legal duty time. In a statement, American Airlines apologized, saying, we do not believe that the passengers' frustrations were always met with a level of service that we expect from our people. And for that, we are truly sorry. I retired when I was 38. I don't really care. <laughs> but the airline also did something rare, providing an email from a first-class passenger defending the flight attendant and blaming the incident on the most horrible display of passenger aggressiveness towards Serrano. Four passengers were even taken off the plane by police. We're going to finish this discussion on the jetway, okay? Eventually, everyone went to hotels, awaiting a new flight the next day. Some convinced yet another flight attendant... This guy is the one who's been doing it. ...had lost. Now, no one was arrested. The flight attendant was questioned, but no word in any disciplinary action. But the FAA is investigating.